I have a family history of cardiac problems, and so it's to my benefit to keep active and exercise. Um, when you're raising a family, it's hard. I mean, your priorities are your family and your job, and um, so you always put yourself last, but you can't do that. You have to take time for yourself because you're the only one that's going to care about how you take care of yourself. So you have to not put it aside and say, oh, I'll try it another month or I'll try it another year. No, you start today. My name is Deborah Keeler. I'm an employee of Southwest Health Center. Um, I am involved in the employee wellness program that Southwest Health Center has started. My exercise program is um, mainly walking. Um, I'm an avid walker. I um, try to walk. I have a route that I walk that's 30 minutes long that I walk outside because I enjoy being outside in the weather. Um, when the weather is too cold, I bundle up. And when it's really bitterly cold, I do have a membership at the university and I walk on a treadmill and I do lift weights. I've learned it's a great stress reliever that if um, I've had a day where um, I could just scream my head off, I would say, you know what, I need to go out and go for a walk. And you can really do a lot of thinking, you can really cool off when you go for a walk. And I think the endorphins and whatever, you just feel so much better when you get back too. And sometimes when I'm trying to figure out, oh, how am I going to do this or how is this going to work out, while I'm walking it's like, oh, you know, I can try this. And I figured it out. So um, while I'm walking, a lot of times it's like, oh, I'm done walking. It's because my mind has been thinking about something else. I don't even know I've been exercising. I exercise in the weight room also. So I, I mix, I do the cardio first, and then I do, I lift weights. Due to my age, I'm not into getting bulky. I just wanted to tone up. So mainly I was interested in increasing my strength and um, toning up my body. So it's not real extensive. I probably only spend about 15 minutes doing different weightlifting and um, using some of their machines um, at the university. Um, and I can tell it has benefited because of just even the way my clothes fit. That and it. At first, I was um, a little disappointed because I put on weight, but yet um, when I realized that sometimes that's what happens. I didn't get my, I didn't get down about it. I just kept on doing what I was doing, and then I did start to lose some weight. I try to walk at least 30 minutes every day. If I can um, walk 45 minutes or longer, I will do that. It all depends upon my time schedule. Now, if I am very busy, I don't always walk 30 minutes all at once. I will break it up into smaller segments. I will do a 10-minute walk, a 10-minute walk, and a 10-minute walk, and. Um, when I go do my shopping and stuff, I don't park by the door. I park somewhere else in the parking lot and walk across the parking lot. Um, so that's another way that I gain some steps. If somebody was wanting to start an exercise program, I would say start small. Um, don't set big goals. Set small goals and achieve your small goals and then set another goal. Um, one of the things I did this winter was I joined a Zumba class and I did that once a week for five weeks. It was a 50-minute class. It was um, very cardio-intensive, um, but I enjoyed it immensely, and um, I had a lot of fun doing it. I have been um, a lover of sports and dancing um, ever since I've been a small child. Um, basketball, softball, um, I participated in grade school, high school, and then when I first um, was out of college, when I had spare time, I joined a softball team. I played volleyball in the evenings and stuff like that. Then I got married and had a family. Then I kind of put everything on the back burner um, so I could spend time. But when my kids were growing up, I would play with them, their baseball, soccer, basketball, things like that. Now my boys are both out of college, and I have free time to do things that I wanted to do. So that's how I become interested in the Zumba, because it's part dancing along with the exercising and it's to music so it's just it's a lot of fun and you have um, in the class I was in there was probably 20 people so it was a lot of fun just seeing how everybody could um, adapt to the music and the different motions and the thing with Zumba was you can't ever be wrong you can just do whatever you want you don't ex you don't have to follow what the teacher's doing you can do whatever you want
um, something that I have never learned to do is swim. I would like to learn how to swim because I know that is one physical activity that's really great for you and I would like to do that. I am one that um, vegetables and fruits um, are a big part of my diet. Um, I don't eat out a lot. I make most all my food. Um, I cook most of my meals just because that way I know what's in them. I know how they're prepared. Um, I, I'm a great lover of fish. My husband hunts and fishes so um, we have a lot of uh, fish that we eat. Um, but we also have, um, growing up on a farm, I'm, I like my chicken and pork and beef also, but I eat it in moderation. Um, I look for the fat-free skim milk. Um, I limit what I eat. I, I don't like to go to buffets because they're just too tempting to overeat. So if we have a chance that we do go out to eat, we go somewhere but it's not a buffet. I think that you, um, you can't be discouraged if you don't get immediate results. You have to remember that if it took you 20 years to put on 20 pounds, you aren't going to take 20 pounds off in two weeks. That you have to pace yourself and set small If you goals. go off the bandwagon, you just have to pick yourself up and start, up, start over. Just don't totally give up. That's the thing that you just can't give up. That there's too much in life to enjoy, to not think that you want to be here tomorrow, but you want to eat healthy, you want to exercise, because you just don't know what might be there tomorrow.